Welcome to the PayPal How-Tos for Business. In this video, we'll take a close look at the new PayPal Balance Report. When you're looking to reconcile your daily account opening and closing balance, Balance Report provides you summary of your opening closing balances for each currency. You can use this report to book your revenue, fees, and losses. You can trace funds settled to your bank account. It helps you understand the net impact of individual transactions on your balances and provides additional details about each transaction. Let's get started. There are two templates of the balance report, a summary report and a transactional report. First, we'll look at the summary report. I have scheduled this report and can open it from my PayPal account. Now let's take a look at how to access this report and generate and download the report. Once you log in into your PayPal account, navigate to the Activity tab, then the All Reports page. You will find PayPal Balance Report under Payments tab. Once you are inside the Balance Reports page, you can click on Generate Report to generate the report on need basis. You can choose to generate either the Summary Report or Summary and Transactions Report or both. You can choose the date range and click Create. Once the request is placed, this report will take two to three minutes to generate based upon the volume of transactions. You can download the report from the Actions tab once it's ready. You will also be notified with an email once the report is ready to be downloaded. When you first open the report, you'll see generic report details at the top section RH. Just underneath in section RS are your opening and closing balances. We conveniently provide a breakdown by currency. This first layer of detail will help you reconcile your overall balances. If you're looking to book your sales and refunds, under section RD, you'll see a column labeled record type. All the data is aggregated and broken down based upon the type of transaction, payment instrument details, and transaction currency. You can refer to record type to understand type of transaction and book your revenue. Refunds appear as a negative balance change. The details of gross, fee, and net amounts are provided towards the right side. If you are looking to reconcile and book fees incurred, you can refer to the fees column to reconcile the fees. You can book any losses due to disputes or chargeback using record type dispute. Disputes are also listed here, but will not include unsettled disputes since they will not affect the account balance until resolved. We will cover disputes in a future video, which will be provided in this video's description when it becomes available. If you're looking to book any dispute or risk-related holds and releases, you can reconcile transactions with record type holds. Now let's take a look at the balance transaction report. As the name implies, the details of every transaction in the date range are provided here. In this template, sections RH and RS are identical to the summary report. Looking at section RD, this section includes record IDs for each transaction. All this detail will be very useful if you need to reconcile with your order management system or look up information about a particular transaction on this date. Note the record type and record subtype fields. These fields would help you book your transactions in your accounting systems. If you need to trace settlement of a particular set of funds in your bank, the transfer ID column provides you with the unique identifier to trace that in your bank statement. If you need to reconcile transactions for a specific customer, use the counterparty name and counterparty ID columns. You can also see case IDs when there is a dispute related to the transaction. In summary, when you use the PayPal balance report, you can simplify your account reconciliation process with daily totals and plenty of tools to support other important accounting tasks. If you have any questions, our support resources are provided in the video description. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more how-tos for business.